Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. I can hear. I can hear. Yes, we're good. I can hear. I can hear. Yep, good. I just heard your Muttley laugh. Muttley. Do you remember Muttley? Who's Muttley? <laughs> Do you remember Muttley? What's on Muttley? Here, he could show us. Yeah, Muttley. Grant, pull up Muttley. He's a classic cartoon character. We started uh, watching a Looney Tunes Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Yosemite Sam, he's always fun. Mm-hmm. Foghorn sweet. Leghorn, the real yeah. southern guy. Uh, I used to have some bit about Foghorn Leghorn. I can't oh, did you? Yeah, I can't remember what it was, so it's not even a good story, but yeah. That's a fun subject matter. I liked on Thursday your one of your grimace pictures. Are we going? We're going. I liked on Thursday your grimace, one of your grimace pictures was by the bass drum, or the big drum. <laughs> yeah, I threw the picture. <laughs> yeah, I was showing it to some guy, and I was like, get out of here, eat slime, dirt bag. And I, and I threw it, and it twisted, topsy turbine, and landed perfectly by the drum set. So it was standing up, grimace getting his first communion, and it was, it was there the whole show. <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe was up there, and all these big yeah, comedians, yeah, yeah. and grimace is just hanging out, watching. <laughs> That's so funny, yeah. The silent watcher. Well, you were hilarious as always. It's always fun to watch you. Yeah, it was a tough crowd. Yeah, it kind of was. I kind of regret saying something to the guy with the eye patch <laughs> in the front row, and then he didn't say anything, and then I was like, oh, my gosh, I shouldn't have asked. Or so, I don't even remember. <laughs> this sounds like a fake story, but it's a real story. There's a guy in the front row, and he, yeah, he couldn't. He yeah, he just patch. didn't want to tell me, and then I thought, eh, maybe don't keep talking about it. But... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. And Grant, your child, you we were going to have Mike today, but Grant, your kid got sick in the Airbnb. Yeah, I was down in Dripping Springs, and she proceeded to just vomit everywhere in the middle of the night. So that, that put an end to the Airbnb. I wrote them an apology, but they didn't get back to me. So, Well, that's rude. Drip. You just left the How puke? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I How think rude. I got every linen in their place like covered in puke as I was just trying to mop it all up. Whoa. Yuck. Yeah, it was pretty grody. Dripping <laughs> mouths and dripping springs. My brother Vance, we used to drive down to visit our grandparents in Gainesville. <laughs> and Vance would always get car sick, and it was always this bright red vomit he would vomit <laughs> oh, into our little bucket of toys we would play with. Yeah, I don't know why it was red. Maybe red Gatorade or something. It was always this bright red color. <laughs> My Sounds dad would sick. start yelling at him. Yeah, he was sick. Poor baby. <laughs> Poor Vance. <laughs> well, would y'all just bleach the toys or just get new ones? Yeah, I think we clean it. We totally clean yeah. it. Like spray them off the hose or something <laughs> when we were down there. Hose them down. You remember those things you could sit on when you were a little small boy? And oh, it's hard to explain. So there's a little circle. I know what you're you talking about. And you spin in a about. circle. Yep. Wee wee. And if you get oh. really good at it, you could go like turbo. You could go like just yeah. fly around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd spin it one way and you would go the other way or something. Yeah. Did you ever see the on like uh playgrounds people would connect a like a motorcycle wheel <laughs> to a thing and people would be on the things that spin around? Have you ever seen videos of yeah. that? God and people are good and then they start going back and then they're all just <laughs> laying back and then fly off. The G force is nuts on those things. <laughs> yeah, the G force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's how Aaron Carter died. He was on one of those things. He's gone a little bit too fast. That's what I read. Yeah, is that what? But he did it on purpose. Didn't he kill himself? He did it or on he accidentally. Purpose. I think he had three of them hooked up, so his top was spinning and his bottom. Was <laughs> oh my gosh! So that would be a whole yeah. yikes. Well, it's rest in good. peace, Sam. Rest in peace. That's not good. <laughs> and also the Green Ranger and the Green Ranger as well. Man, I Famed. did some. I did some joke last night about. People are just, I'm, every news is coming out now. Everybody's just trying to figure out what he was doing in that village in Pakistan when he 
when he detonated his bomb vest and it didn't really get a laugh. And I was like, fuck. I was thinking that was going to be a good one. <laughs> yeah, no one knows where the, the Power Rangers were during the Chechen War. Yeah. They were psyops. I Black think they ops. probably were. Black ops. Black ops down. <laughs> Did you Black it? ops down. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Green Ranger? Is that what he looks like? Yeah, he's a good looking guy. Yeah, that was him. Super good looking. Look like Matt Dillon. <laughs> Who's that again? Drugstore cowboy. Uh, he's in the Outsiders. Stay gold, pony boy. It's just a guy. Don't worry about it. Wait, so what <laughs> movies did you watch yesterday? How many movies did you watch yesterday? It was a good uh, rainy day back for watching back. movies. Yeah, I watched. Okay, so I watched. Let's, what does he start off with? Oh, I'm going to have to do them not in the correct order. I watched Cell Block. I, I watched Brawl and Cell Block 99 with Vince Vaughn. Great movie. Okay. As Craig Zoller. Then I watched the Daryl Hammond documentary, Cracked Up. How the SNL that? guy. It was yeah. good. He has a really interesting life story. It was really sad, but it was good. Then I Very watched good. Get Out again. I've already seen it many times. Then I watched Repo Man, this old... With cri- Emilio Estevez? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have this old Criterion collection, this 4K transfer DVD stuff. Love it. <laughs> then, oh, I watched one more, and it was good. <laughs> Dang. You don't remember? I can't remember, but yeah. there was one more. We were looking. We were going to watch the Peanuts Thanksgiving and talk about it today, but and now apparently it Amelia. <laughs> I liked him as Coach Bombay. Remember that? Does it look like I'm looking right into his eyes? Yep. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good Move morning. over a little. You can see his sweet earring, William. He has an earring? Oh, uh, never mind. Move it's too mind. much moving. Good morning. Oh, the microphone. Oh, the mic is perfectly on his ear. <laughs> that's the per- that's the earring he got. <laughs> that's such a weird earring he has. He has, he has a little cross there. Man, we were looking uh, for the Peanuts movie, and what was that dumbass? And we saw the preview, and the preview gave away the entire movie. It was some like independent, totally independent. We should watch it actually and talk about it. it was I don't know how they're allowed to use the name. What was the name Amityville? again? Amityville. Amityville Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked they're allowed to use Amityville because it wasn't anybody associated with Amity. It was the strangest. <laughs> what do you mean? It was still thing. the Peanuts? It's the Peanut Boys? No, we were looking for the Peanuts, oh, okay. and that was just one of them. And I was like, "What is Amityville Thanksgiving? I've never heard of that in the Amityville universe." And it, I don't think, was associated at all. No, the actors were really old. Never seen them before. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it was shot on somebody's camera that they just had laying around. It was the strain, but it was like a full movie. That's they have great yeah, cover art, cover. but the actual trailer was awful. Yeah, I think there's something. Amityville's one of those series where I don't know if the production studio shut down, but it's basically I think like the title is in like public domain Free almost. For all? Yeah. Oh, so anybody so, can use that. And now. and I guess the title's just a, a city too. So that would be like calling it, you know, New York Thanksgiving or something. So mm. there's some loophole where they yeah, they turn out there's been like twenty of them. There's so many of these Gotta movies. Gotta watch them all. Oh, I see. I didn't realize they that. did Amityville horror in space. There's one in space too, but it's a house, which doesn't really make sense. <laughs> space but, house? Yeah, it is space space Haunted? house. What is it? Like on the moon? Very haunt. Yeah. <laughs> or in a spaceship. <laughs> one of the more haunted houses uh, yeah, yeah. It could be the house become a spaceship it's on the trailer man. yeah okay <laughs> all, we okay. love watching the trailers so yeah there you go i knew it <laughs> but it, see they're using that same window but again i guess that true. window is not copyrighted i guess that's just a design that anybody can use yeah. The house, yeah oh in the house also it is basically predator it's basically big scary monster man it looks like it it's on top of the guy's head in space it looks like and he goes, I have an idea for you, sweetie. And the idea is the house. It's so scary. <laughs> and he just has that one eye, that one red eye. Amityville, Amityville hood. hood. Amityville in the hood. <laughs> the the neighborhood went to went to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. But yeah, the peanuts is no more on I don't know. You can't watch it easily. Yeah, we were trying to watch the Peanuts movie. We were gonna discuss it. And then I was Googling it last minute, granted. Right before the podcast, trying to like squeeze some peanuts in so I could make my way. And yeah, you can't find it. It's completely gone. Yeah, it's bullshit. We watched a little of it because in you bits can't... and pieces. Yeah, on you can watch YouTube. it in bits and pieces. Oh. It's like in nine separate video, one minute videos. 
And uh, I hadn't seen it in forever. And Peppermint Patty she's mean. is mean she's as rude. shit. <sighs> Yeah, she. I can't. Don't get me get me started. She was mean. She invited herself over to oh my his God. Thanksgiving dinner Charlie that he Browns. wasn't even having at his house. He was going to his grandma's, and she's like, "We're I'm just gonna come over, okay?" And like hangs up on him, and then keeps calling back. I'm gonna bring this person, this person, this one, and she shows up, and they had to like and improvise. She brought a friend. Three friends. Oh, three friends. They had to improvise. And she's all Not mad okay. that they served bread and pretzels and pro- and popcorn. Yeah, she's and pissed. Pigpen can't eat. They kick pig pen out because <laughs> he can't, can't eat. Yeah, <laughs> well, he ain't got no teeth. <laughs> yeah, look he doesn't have little, any teeth. Look at that stinky bastard. <laughs> yeah, look at line. Look at line. Look at his hair. Why did they draw it like that? Is that lioness or pig pen? Isn't this pig pen always says the flies around him? Oh think. yeah, yeah. This is the blanky boy. Blanky boy. She's mean. She is mean. So she and then her calls one him... friend calls her sir. Sir, yes. But she's not. She's a girl. She's non-binary. She's one of the first non-binary <laughs> major, <laughs> yeah, cartoon icons. Yeah, you know, my great grandfather, L. B. McMahon, was a war platoon leader in World War II, and one of his soldiers was Charles Schulz, who created. Uh, I peanuts. know you said yeah. that. That's wild. Yeah, directly connected. I, I was telling. My girlfriend this last night, when you go into my... My mom lives in the house where they used to live. They built in Illinois. Yeah. So this was a really old house. And when you walk in, ever since I was a little kid, there's this giant framed picture. And it's my grandfather and his platoon. And then there's a huge <laughs> circle drawn Perfect. around Charles Schultz. And then there's a big arrow and it says Charles Schultz. It's Are like you the serious? big claim to fame in the family. Yeah, you got to find good. a picture so of the picture. Funny. Yeah, to put it up. Yeah, so that's Peppermint Patty? Mean. That's Peppermint Patty. Rude as a box of hornets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mean as a snake. Inviting herself over. And again, that she must be the first they in a cartoon, I would think. Must be. Mm-hmm. Was there one before? Because we were talking about it earlier. It's not Foghorn Leghorn. He's a guy. Yes. We're uh, talking cartoon. Oh, it was the Rugrats mom. Oh, no, this is older. She's getting closer. Getting closer, <laughs> Rugrats mom. Yeah, she was kind of. You know the twin Phil and Lil's mom. Mm-hmm. She's a they now. She is. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Phil and Lil. Yeah, I remember. And Wait, then their Dill. mom is a they now. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Where'd you read that? Mm, Buzzfeed. Buzzfeed. <laughs> Are they still doing that articles? Mm, maybe. Sometimes. Once a week. Once <laughs> a week. I love the Buzzfeeds. It's just one guy now. Yeah, there's that girl, and then she kind of like. Marcy. A lesbian. Marcy's sweet. Yes, Marcy. She's kind of a... She kind of told Peppermint Patty off. She's like, look, were you invited or did you invite yourself? And then that's when Peppermint Patty was like, damn, I did invite myself. Well, that's what happens when you invite yourself over for Thanksgiving. Brutal. But granted, brutal. And popcorn, not that much of a meal. Basically negative calorie. Do not serve. Do you eat popcorn in movie theaters? Yeah. You got you know? to. I eat popcorn almost every day. I love popcorn. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. I He's a popcorn. movie boy. I'm a movie boy. My mom, when I was a little boy, I don't know if this is sad or not, we'd eat popcorn for a lot of meals. We you had would? a lot of popcorn meals. <laughs> go, oh, popcorn for dinner. And <laughs> would you put it in a bag in the microwave or cook it over the oven? <laughs> She'd cook it over the stove. Or the stove, I mean, the oven. Yeah. The stove. I think it gave me, like, good calcium deposits. Like, I have really... My bones, I think they say, are twice the size of normal people's bones. Pop- are you serious? Popcorn. Yeah, they're like double layered, folded over, smelted. Have you ever broken a bone? Yes. Yeah. I got drunk and I punched a wall in Athens, Georgia <clears> and <throat> shattered my hand when I was like 20. Oh, I, no. I broke my nose a couple times in college. But yeah, no, nothing else. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I used to like to fall down a lot. Popcorn. Ten yeah, Grant, later, good I'd... popcorn picture. Yeah, ten minutes later, I put up popcorn. Love it. Popcorn. I'll look. I'll put up broken it. bones in a second. <laughs> caramel, caramel corn. You like caramel corn? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love caramel corn. I always get stuck in my stinky little molars. You need a water f- floss. You think so? Water yeah. floss, or we got one of those things. I did it the first time, and I spit it out, and there's a bunch of blood in there. So I'm like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's scary. I discovered what I think is a cavity on one of my teeth. I haven't gone to the I haven't gone to the dentist in ten fucking years. Really? Brand, I thought you were going to start giving us health insurance for doing the podcast here. When is that taking place? Uh, still working on the paperwork. Okay, cool. Because yeah, my mouth was bleeding after I did the water pick the other night, so that couldn't <laughs> be good. That sounds terrible. 
Yeah, it was really bad. But then I did it the next day and there, no blood came out. So I'm not, that's why I was even able to say that out loud. Cause at first I was horrified and it scared <laughs> me and I didn't even want to say anything. Yeah. Probably just had a rotten gum. Got rid of some of your rotten gum. <laughs> Hopefully that's it. Blasted it off like a super soaker. Bye bye. Bye. Have fun in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have fun living in the fucking sink for two years. <laughs> yeah, I lost a tooth down here. I bit a gumball during quarantine. Freaking damn sour gumball. That'll Wanna, do it. That'll that'll happen before. <laughs> what, like you were crunching on it trying to get to the gum part? No, there was a it was just a gumball. It was one of those warheads. Gumballs with the with the kid and his hair's going all crazy. Oh, cry yeah. baby? Gumball. Yeah, cry head. Oh, those are my favorite. Cry <laughs> yeah. Cry dad. <laughs> cry, cry dad. Cry, <laughs> cry dad gumball. <laughs> it's just notoriously hard. Yeah, and I bit it. I, had, I took one bite and shattered this tooth and I pulled it out with a pair of pliers. Did Wait, you? did you have yeah. to? I was, uh, it was. Or was uh, cracked. Was it hurting? It was this tooth in, uh, yeah, it had cracked and it was like Ow. two in the morning. And it could move side to side, but it I couldn't pull it out. So yeah, I pulled it out with a pair of pliers. Did was you get bleeding? the root out? Yeah, it was bleeding. Then I went to the doctor the next day because I got worried it would like get infected or something because of the pliers. Yeah, I was completely <laughs> sober. I was just like, I was like, I have to make an executive decision. I'm not really sure what I was thinking, honestly. Yeah, I pulled yeah, it out. Yeah, it took yeah. a long time. I was, I was really in there. But you should have done the old trick where you tie some string to it and tie it to the, <laughs> the put it, door. Put it on a bumper of a Maserati. <laughs> yeah. No. Did anybody ever actually do that? Tie something to their tooth and slam a door? Because I feel like growing up, I always heard about that, but I don't know if I ever knew anybody that actually did that. I never knew anybody. Did the tooth fairy visit you? Yeah, the tooth fairy visited me three summers in a row. 2001, 2002, and then the year 2000, before 2001. <laughs> 2000, 2001, 2002? Yeah. Was she giving you some skrill? How old were you then? <laughs> were you losing teeth real late? <laughs> what are you, like a, <laughs> a 13? How, like, old how old were you, were you in 2000? <laughs> 12? I'm, I'm 27, so okay, I was uh, five, six, seven. Okay. She stopped when I was seven, because I think that's when I stopped believing. It was like a Polar Express thing, where if you mm. can't hear the bell... You can't get on the train. You can't get on the train. Is that how that is again? Polar Express? Yeah. God. And thank God I did, because the train pulled up, and it looked like some Krampus shit. Like, it was like... <laughs> like, everybody didn't look right. Like, their eyes didn't look right. When the train... Came to the station. Yeah. It's a good it, thing you didn't get on it. Yeah. Get on. Get on. And it was all these kids I knew that had gone missing in the surrounding towns. Seriously? Yeah. It was like a Stephen King's It situation. Oh, my God. Just, Come on. We got so much teeth. You can eat all the teeth you want. And I start <clears throat> thinking, I don't think I want to eat a single tooth. Yeah. A t- it could make my teeth break. That could, yeah. Eating that could, a tooth. Could cause more problems and solutions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To stop eating the... Uh, what are the good candies with the caramel in the middle and his chocolate on the outside? Milky Way. No, milk Reese's. duds. Milk duds. Milk oh. dud. Those things will rip your teeth out. Or at yeah. least it feels like they will. <laughs> <laughs> but it's never happened to me, so I don't know. I did chip my front tooth the other night. I don't know how it happened, though. Dang. You eating corn cob? I think it was crunch. I think I do my teeth. I do my teeth real hard sometimes in different <laughs> situations. And I just, it was, I don't know. Just popped it. Just popped up. Well, well, at least the other tooth. I chipped my front tooth real bad in Florida one time. Really? Did I tell you that? I don't think so. Yeah, there were a bunch of Cajuns out partying. We were there for summer vacation because we always went down there because our cousins had a place down there, their mm-hmm. grandparents. And I went and party with the Cajuns, and then I went back up to their... Uh, condo and we were just drunk as shit and a bird flew in the fucking room <laughs> and then somebody caught the bird in a napkin and i was sitting at a glass table and they accidentally released the bird when they were right behind my head and it scared me to death and i did my head down real quick to try to get away from this little sparrow or whatever and i broke a whole front tooth halfway off <laughs> And then I was just at dinner that night with the whole family, just like trying not to smile, <laughs> trying not to move my top lip. <laughs> Give it in the whole grandpa mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful vacation. Dude, leave it up to Cajuns to catch a damn sparrow on a napkin. I know. Brutal. The person called it in a napkin somehow. Brutal. Are you going to be using napkins this Thanksgiving? Do you have plans for Thanksgiving? This This time of year? 
Yeah, the, no, around this time of year. Around this time of year, Thanksgiving's one of the biggest days to have. And I don't have that many plans, and I don't have any, actually. Do you, what are you? We talked about it. Yeah, we might go to San Antonio or somewhere. We're figuring it out. Undecided. Yeah. Undecided. Oh, my gosh, Casey, my favorite uh, author just released a book. I read 200 pages the past three days. Really? Yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it again. The Passenger by Cormac McCarthy? Yeah, have you read that, or have you heard about it? Uh-uh. Are you familiar with him at all? Vague. I've read his Wikipedia. You mm. did? I know he did No Country for Old Men. That's about the extent. That was of a good knowledge. movie. Yeah, it was really good. I yeah. love that movie. That was the craziest bad guy in any kind of film I'd ever seen. Yeah. He go flip the coin or whatever. Yeah, he had people had to flip the coin. Flip the coin. Yeah, yeah kind of cool. Jamaican and a yeah. Jamaican. <laughs> and then he would get that thing used to kill cattle or whatever, that gun. Yeah. Doof, doof. Do me a favor, flip it a coin. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's uncanny. It was pretty good. Yeah, it's so weird. But the passenger, it's been wonderful. The lady has schizophrenia, I think. And then so there's some guy with flippers for hands in Whoa. her room who she talks to. And then it's like some underwater divers. And they <sighs> and they found a plane, but something's off with the plane. And it's weird. Is it scary? It's cool. Yeah. Uh, It's been talking... I guess the Cormac guy likes math and physics, so the the characters have been talking. One of the characters is like some real smart guy, and it's a lot of talk that I don't really understand what's going on, but I'm powering through those parts. They're talking about like specific shit with physics and stuff. I don't fucking... It's kind of fun to yeah. read, but I don't really know what they're talking about at all with that. You don't have to. What, she like living in an underground plane? <laughs> underwater, <laughs> yeah, it's just some underwater plane, and the guys found it, and mm-hmm. it, there's issues with it. Something sketchy happened with it, mm. so we're trying to figure out what's going on with that. And the one lady has schizophrenia. No, yeah, at first I didn't have any idea what was going on because it's some got little guy with flippers, and he wears these funny little outfits, and he's talking to her all crazy, and then he gets people out to do like acts for the girl. Whoa. Like comedy acts. It's funny. I've laughed a couple of times reading it. It's wonderful. I'll It'd let be... you borrow it if you want to after I finish it. Yeah, I would like to. Yeah. It'd be weird if schizophrenia was like a, a solid tactile, like one persistent hallucination where it was like, oh, uh, sorry if this conversation is going a little weird. I have schizophrenia. There's a little flipper guy who like follows me around everywhere for sure but like that was it like you were totally normal but you just had a little flipper guy for a friend who follow you around because what is it normally people are you don't know that the voices you're <laughs> yeah. hearing aren't actually there yeah it's a lot of like god complexes like mm. yeah like angels and demons and a lot of religious stuff normally but it can really be almost anything yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, a couple times when I've been on acid, I've thought, oh, shit, dude, you're going crazy because I'll start having full conversations, <laughs> like crazy conversations with myself. That happened the other night when I was smoking for some reason. Do you remember that, kind of? No. I got super antsy. I was thinking all crazy. Oh, I was yeah. like, dude, you fucked up, you dumbass. Like you're you about flipped to have to go switch? to a crazy hospital. <laughs> I was just like having too many conversations with myself kind of in my head, like panicky kind of. I don't know. It scared me. But then I woke up and it was fine. <laughs> Luckily, it was all right. Luckily, it had stopped. My inner dialogue had stopped for the time being, Casey. <laughs> Dodged a bullet just in time for Thanksgiving. I know, just in time for Thanksgiving. Thank God. Yeah, I, I've had that happen many. I used to have it happen when I would smoke spice. I would something would <laughs> something would flip. Granted, spice was like basically PCP, but I would yeah smoke it and then I would get a I, something would flip and I would go, dude, I have schizophrenia. Like yeah, you fucked up. Like yeah. <laughs> I'd like see the secrets of the universe, then I'd look at somebody and be like, damn, this is permanent. Yeah. <laughs> How are you gonna unsee that? And I'm like sitting like behind like a CVS or something. I'm like now I gotta like call my parents, like tell them, yeah, <laughs> schizophrenic. Like that's gonna be a whole conversation. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. Well, luckily that hasn't happened because I guess that does happen to people, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It unleashes something inside of them. Yeah, it happened to a friend of mine. Yeah, he did a bunch of Molly when we were 17. He was my best friend, and he completely lost his mind. And yeah, he's been in and out of prison ever since. I think he's only been out of prison for like a year. The last nine years or something 
Well, hopefully, if he's yeah. out of prison this year, he'll have a nice Thanksgiving with friends and family or something. Yeah. Hopefully, his family's been supportive. Hopefully. Ideally. Yeah, people used to see him sitting in the rain. <laughs> they drive past his house, and he would sit in the rain with a basketball. That's just, it. just holding the yeah, basketball? Yeah, just like in the middle of the yard. Just like staring at the basketball. Like Wilson from like Castaway. Just yeah, like... yeah, yeah. So he wasn't like spinning it or something, like working <laughs> no, towards being a globe, just, Harlem Globetrotter. Just trying to figure it out. <laughs> just oh, trying no. to figure out what that basketball all about. Yikes. But he'll be all right. He'll shake it off. Yeah, it'll be okay. A couple years. I hope so. Ooh, did you hear that? <laughs> big one. That was a big one. <laughs> Very big one. Uh, Casey, we have... One of the things we were maybe going to talk about, our favorite Thanksgiving sides. Yes. What are your thoughts? Do you have strong opinions? What are your opinions in regards to Thanksgiving sides? Um, first of all, picky eater. Got it. I'm very picky eater. Hey, why did he wasn't about to? You weren't she, about to say that, were you? Knows. Or were you? We've probably talked about it. I only eat meat and cheese. <laughs> sure, too. Or peanut butter sandwich. And peanut butter sandwich or green beans. Ooh. Um. All right, side for me, <laughs> gotta have a roll. Make it big, make a big roll. And then I'm gonna put turkey inside of it. Hold on, biscuits or rolls? I would love to have a biscuit, but I've never been to like some sort of Southern Thanksgiving where they serve biscuit. Have you had a good biscuit before? Oh, many times. Yeah, yeah you've, I'm sure you have. Yeah. Grew up in Georgia. There used to be this place called Guy's Biscuit Barn. And it was this like <laughs> dilapidated shack that sold bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. Oh, really I bet good. those were wonderful. They were really good. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I always like the Hungry Jack biscuits. That's something good for Thanksgiving, mm. where you, they have the layers. Yum! <laughs> Melt a bunch of butter in the middle and then layer, it, unlayer it. <laughs> what? Well, so yeah, you gotta have some of that peach cobbler, and ooh, <laughs> yeah, 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 pumpkin pie for for dinner. That's so, three. Okay, that's three. <laughs> so it goes from the bisque or the rolls. Is that to, your uh, Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> That's what you mean. It's the roll, peach cobbler, and full goodbye for dinner. Do you normally do like ice cream with your with your dessert things like that? Whipped cream. I would love some whipped cream and a nice vanilla bean ice cream mm -hmm. with the pumpkin pie. Ooh, vanilla bean. Yeah. Cool Whip. Are you a Cool Whip guy? I like Cool Whip. Yeah. What is that stuff? I don't know. I don't even know. Some sort of jelly. Egg fluff. Sort of egg fluff jelly. Yeah, it's like egg fluff egg jelly. Fluff like jelly. white jelly. White jelly. Mm -hmm. Do you put jelly on your... I noticed their PB&J was just peanut butter. Do you put jelly on there too? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Please don't say jelly again. Uh, Damn. Haunted by a hundred jellies in a hundred day, in a hundred days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the KZ Rocket story. <laughs> <laughs> um, something to do with Amityville. Something the Casey Rocket story could have something to do. With. <laughs> no, I don't really like jelly that much. It did. I don't know why it made me shiver. I don't like jelly like that. I don't like the preserves with the chunks of fruit in it. That'll gross my ass out. Yeah. If it's just jelly, I can do that. But the chunks, what is that? Preserve strawberry preserves. Get that out of here. Uh, uh not a fan. Yeah. Do you strawberry. like strawberry preserves, Grant? Yeah, I'm pretty good with it. Yeah. Yeah, you get the chunks of fruit, but obviously you're saying you do not like that. What made your daughter throw up? <laughs> Jelly. It was a <laughs> overdose of preservatives. <laughs> really? No, I don't know. Some <laughs> virus, I'm guessing, just because kids so are did filthy. did she give it to you? No one else is sick so well, far. that's good. So maybe just a virus. Yeah, we'll see how I virus. am, and then you guys are in a week. Perfect. Is that what the incubation period would be? Maybe. Like a week? We'll see. If I throw up on a ladder, I'm going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> my house is full of ladders. I can't hardly find my bed sometimes. Yeah, ladders but... always scared me to death. I did some construction work, work with my cousins, and we had to climb up ladders sometimes, and I couldn't even move when I got to the top of one. <laughs> like to like unscrew a light bulb or something, I couldn't even do it. <laughs> I hate be heights like that. Petrified? I couldn't even fucking move. I hated it. Yeah, and if you vomit on the top of a ladder, how do you get down the ladder without potentially slipping? Mm. God, you better have a hard hat on. That's what they're for. You tip it, that oh. toss it like a frisbee. They're very because yeah, they don't have a chin strap or it anything. It is bowl shaped. So. Yeah, 
A bowl shape. Interesting. I didn't and know that. Peach cobbler. <laughs> like, if you didn't puke in it recently, you could fill it full of peach cobbler. Ooh, with a little vanilla bean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like Get, when baseball mm, stadiums yeah. serve, serve ice cream in, like, a baseball helmet. Little cap. <laughs> Get a little, little cap. Let's go, Mets. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> little mini helmets. <laughs> I like to do a... One of those squirt flowers, you know what I mean? That's a classic. And just fill it full of soft serve and just, I'll squirt it right into my mouth. Just to your wrist. I'm not pranking anybody, <laughs> no, just to you. Just for me. But if somebody like pisses my ass off, like I'm, I'm not afraid to squirt them down. Mm-hmm. So that could be a good life hack for people mm-hmm. going, visiting relatives for Thanksgiving or the holidays. Just get one of those mm-hmm. things. You could probably find them on Amazon or. Or get a camelback. Get a camelback and fill it full of peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> just sip out yeah. of it. Yeah. Yum. Just suck out of it. Mm. <laughs> I wonder if you could actually put the whole slices in there or you'd have to like blend it up in a blender or something. Yeah, I mean, if you like if you went on a walk, like I'm sure the gravitational like would shake it and condense it. So Yeah. Maybe somebody who does that, they can get back to us like what's the best way to uh, if you try to consume peach cobbler out of a camelback. <laughs> If anybody watching this tries it, just let us know what the best, how the best way to do that is. Yeah, and what you felt like after you ate an entire peach cobbler through a straw. Yeah, please <laughs> write like a page report on that and get back to us and send it to Grant's house. I think Grant's house is the P.O. box. Yeah, it's hey. grant at bitchass.gov. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to change your email, Grant. I can't believe that's still your email, dude. It was, it was just convenient after a certain point to leave it. Grant, is it grant.bitchass.gov? Is that what it is? Grant, grant at, at bitchass.gov. Oh, grant <laughs> at bitchass.gov. <laughs> <laughs> brutal reality. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's brutal. Were you thinking about that when you were cleaning up the vomit? <laughs> just about your old email address that, that I'm still a can't bitch change. Ass. <laughs> Yeah, it's so weird. Grant at bitchass.gov. I was thinking about what a bitch ass I am. Damn. Damn. Holy shit. Don't do him like that, Grant. Damn. Yeah, come on, Grant. What is your favorite Uh, side, Grant? If you had to pick one side for Thanksgiving, what would it be? mm, And why? Man, uh, maybe like a a really spicy mac and cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm. Correct. Gooey, <laughs> spicy. Yeah. What kind of spicy? What do you like put? Peppers? Hot sauce? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean spicy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, peppers. You can do a little habanero in there, maybe. Do your daughters mind it to be so hot? <laughs> well, I'm not sharing it in this case. Oh. I mean, I so guess. So you eat Thanksgiving and you make food you don't share with your family. <laughs> okay. Communally. Yeah. Just a regular mac and cheese. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this one's this one's daddy's don't touch it. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could just one. put yeah, my this own one's hot way sauce. too spicy. Don't fucking touch this one. Or you're gonna vomit again. <laughs> Spice yeah. does that to you. Yeah. It'll make you very vomity. Mm-hmm. Super vomitous. <laughs> what? Big vomitous. Big vomitous. <laughs> Super vomitous this time of year. What was that movie we watched the other night? Which one? Jacob's Ladder. I liked it. Oh, it has Ladder in it. Yeah, with, Jacob's Ladder. With, uh, oh, yeah, it had Ladder in it. Tim Robbins? Yeah. Know, That's my like... favorite movie of all time. Is it yeah. really? Well, he yeah. wasn't paying attention. He was it's playing good. balloons. It's good. Don't throw me under the bus. You're playing balloons? <laughs> Tower defense? Yeah. yeah I'm always. I'm thinking. I'm Seriously? wondering. <laughs> yeah. I do all the time. He had, a, he, he had to ask me on the way, what was it about again? With the monkeys? You shoot arrows? No, the movie. He wasn't paying attention. No, it's yeah. about balloons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you play. Yeah, yeah. Balloons Tower Defense 6. Dude, I've popped over a billion balloons. I can show you. A billion. Do you know how many balloons that is? A billion with a B. You could fill up the Library of Congress. Damn. With the deflated balloons. They wouldn't even have to be filled up. Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot of rubber. I used to play balloons. I would take like three Concerta or like a couple Vivants in high school, and I would go to the back of my classrooms and be like, I got to work on something for a different class, and I would play balloons. Yeah. Just like obsessively. <laughs> <laughs> and put well, I my- got Erica playing it a little now, and I almost feel bad because sometimes I'll like walk in the room, and she's playing it. I'm like, fuck, what have I done? Because it's taken over my life, so mm. I feel a little bad. I play it like three times. <laughs> 
So what was the slope. deal with Jacob's Ladder? He was I dead liked the whole it. time. Yeah. It's one of the best movies. I love that movie. I've seen that movie probably more than It kind of wasn't that movie. good, but it was really good. Like, I like it. Yeah, I really yeah. liked it. I like the themes of it. I like the themes of fighting demons, and then you got to let go. And I think it has some really good imagery. I've seen it probably like... 40 or 50 times. I've seen it so many times. I love that movie for yeah. some reason. I, don't I had never I liked heard it of it, I don't yeah. think. It was just on Amazon. <laughs> I picked it. Yeah. It's good. Tim Robbins, he young. He go, I'm a mailman. Then you go, is there something else going on here? Mm-hmm. I know, yeah. He's in the mailman <laughs> That's what he thing. thought. Yeah, he wasn't a mailman. He's dead though. He died and the doctors are like, oh, he fought. He was fighting till the end. <laughs> So what, he's just having those memories the whole time when he's dying on the thing? Yeah, he's like yeah. having trouble letting go of memories. Yeah, the, the guy who wrote it's this like philosophical writer about whatever, existential stuff. Mm-hmm. It's really interesting. And yeah. Macaulay was like, come on. Yeah, Macaulay yeah. Culkin. Yeah. Come, come on, on Papa. Man. Come to the attic. You know, like, <laughs> know he go to heaven. Yeah, and then Macaulay gets hit by the fucking person in a car. Didn't he get run over on the bike? Yeah, he got trounced. Get trounced by some vehicle. <laughs> bye bye. What was that before he blew up <clears throat> with the uh, not literally, but with the uh, it's Home Alone. <laughs> home Alone. Yeah, I mean Macaulay Cook is probably like three or four or five He's years so old. Adorable. He's really young. Yeah, I like Jacob's Ladder so much. A couple years ago, I had a T-shirt printed. I made my own Jacob's Ladder T-shirt because I couldn't find it. Still have it? On. What? Yeah, was I it? still have it. Wear Just it a, next time. It's a white T-shirt. Yeah, I still have it, and it's. The French cover of Jacob's Ladder, and cool. it's all red, and it's really cool, and it says, the worst thing about Jacob Singer's nightmare is he isn't dreaming. Damn. Oh, my gosh. Spoiler alert. Deep. Very scary. Wait, what about the shirt you're wearing now? Did you make that, or you bought that somewhere? <laughs> I, I got an Instagram ad. I'm covered in dandruff. I got an Instagram ad uh, just specifically for Benadryl. Just Benadryl stuff about taking it. That proves they listen. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Is that he isn't dreaming. But it was, I made my own shirt. It's a one of one, but it kind of got warped in the washer. So I don't really, I only wear it around the house because the design is like crooked because it just got <laughs> fucked up in the washer. Or something. <laughs> but it's good. But that was just from Instagram. You're correct. Yeah. It's like they I bought it the other those day. Ads. Yeah, just about eating like a whole box of Benadryl and experiencing your nightmares before your eyes. Do you get on one of my subreddits I subscribe to as uh, like DXM or something? Yeah, that's Robitussin or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's different. Is that the same family? No, it's a deliriant. So this (laughs) is... What's that? This is a deliriant. It's like DPH, so it would be similar to like... If you've ever heard of people taking like angel trumpets... Or like, oh yeah, you know what I'm talking. You know oh, what I'm the talking plant. About? I remember that. Or Detura. Detura is another thing that's, that's like a scary thing. That's a scary I've read a bunch one. Of trip reports. I on love that reading shit. those. Those Me are so too. fun. <laughs> yeah, there was a point in time in my life if I was ever feeling down or something, I would get on arrowit.org <laughs> and yeah. get on, type on a fun or click on a fun like substance or whatever, and then go to the trip disaster because you what? can filter it. Yeah. And it would make me feel a little better. I'd be like, oh my God, Wait, at least is... I'm not smoking cigarettes <laughs> with some person that's not right. And the cigarettes me. would disappear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that so weird that that shit makes th- it's, it's super crazy. weird? People, Datura is this. It's a native plant, like, around the U.S., and if you eat the seeds, it'll make you hallucinate, but not in an LSD way. It makes you go into delirium, so, like, psychosis. So you, you'll you be talking to people, and everybody who's ever done it is like, I'm just happy to be alive. Like, it can kill you easily because yeah. it's yeah. poison. It, like, basically poisons your body. And it'll last for, like, days, <laughs> like, two days. <laughs> I can't even imagine. <laughs> yeah, they'll, like, make it into tea, and oh, no. people will... They'll have full conversations with people who would just be like, bye bye, and then evaporate. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, the co- a common theme is smoking the fake cigarettes. Uh-huh. People are always smoking fake <laughs> cigarettes. Wait, so the website tells you what happens when you take the drug? 
Have you ever? Yeah. Have you never heard? That was like a we big only did, thing, kind of around my did friend group at one pill point. Pill reports when we didn't know what the pill, like the ecstasy pill, like what it was. Yeah, I've cut heard of with. pill reports. Oh, yeah. yeah. No era with dot org. Do you ever still get on that? Was that a website? Oh yeah. You got on? Yeah, I got on like probably a month ago. <laughs> I I almost exclusively look at Benadryl it's up to and Detera. Yeah, because it's do. just so funny. Uh, I don't know if people still use it, but it's archived back like twenty years. So. And I think people do because yeah. I get yeah. on I get on it every. I want to get on it after this. <laughs> Man, there was a <laughs> fun. It's making me excited. You can't wait. <laughs> there, I remember reading this one story. I need to find it and send it to you. It was some guy. One of them is, uh, like inhaling stuff and one of them was gasoline and the guy was like inhaling tons of gasoline and he started talking to angels and <laughs> it sounded insane <laughs> <laughs> there's a famous detura one where the guy says he's in the matrix and he got lost in like dallas or houston <laughs> it was in texas and it's really famous it was like an internet meme from way back in the day and he got lost for like three days walking around houston like Yikes. telling everybody he was in the matrix and he almost died it was a whole thing but Yikes, yeah. do you think people experiencing that really are talking to angels they somehow have opened up a portal or not at all it's just all in their head some things, I think when I used to smoke spice, I used to see demons. I feel like they were for real demons. Like, really? Yeah. I had some, uh, yeah, I had a couple times, like, one time I was on my roof. <laughs> I used to just do, I just like to live like, a, I don't even know, like a weird yeah. fairy pixie dream girl lifestyle. So I just, I would smoke spice <laughs> on the apex of my dad's roof. <laughs> so it's like, you know, two or three stories up. And, yeah. uh, uh, I smoked a bunch of spice up there. It was a bunch of spice resin, so it was like so Yikes. much stronger. Yeah, and I started hearing these screams in the distance, like this, like a slaughterhouse oh of like people. And then I, it was surrounded by woods, the house, and and there was a man with a lamp, just standing there, clear as day, like a druid. You know what I mean, like old timey <laughs> thing, which sounds like whatever, like you're hallucinating. And I was like, okay, kind of spooky, like you're just tripping out. And I closed my eyes. And I open my eyes and he's still there, like the same exact thing. And I like rub my eyes. I'm like, oh, dude, like this is like really freaky. <laughs> and I take out my phone and my phone like died. It was the weirdest thing. My phone I'm like, sorry, didn't mm -hmm. say that. That's not how phones work. But sorry. good night, Casey. <laughs> huh? And then the guy was just walking. I watched this guy for like a long time, like 30 minutes, just walk around with this lantern. And then he, he looked up and then he just disappeared. And I was like, dad. Oh, my dad. gosh. But who knows, man? Yeah, maybe it can like tap you into some weird thing. But yeah. 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 It was funny. You could legally <laughs> buy spice at one, at one point. Oh, yeah. Like, you could buy it like shops. everywhere. Yeah. I remember legally buying the salvia when I did that nightmare the one time. We bought it at a place called Wizards in Memphis. Yeah. It was just the strongest thing I'd ever done, probably up until this point. Yeah. And I just bought it. Yeah, it was fun. From a store. I think you can still buy salvia. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. It'd make me give me the giggles in my body, then it'd go away in a minute, and I liked it. Well, maybe you didn't smoke enough. <laughs> yeah, for sure. we it did made a me lot. Feel like I was dying. Yeah, oh, I've always enjoyed terrifying. it. Uh, yeah, I was immediately transported to another place. Yeah, a bad place. I was trying to like run away from my friends. <laughs> like, what's wrong? I was like, yeah, <laughs> help! I yeah, know, and you spooky. get trapped. Yeah, I was running away mm -hmm. from this weird guy with these weird white and red stockings on, and I was trapped in an. Inf I'm sure I've said that. I was trapped in an infinite number of mirrors. You know, when two mirrors are put together, it looks like uh -huh. an infinite number of. I was trapped in an infinite number of mirrors, <laughs> That's trying to get away from this guy. <laughs> oh my god! It's like, yeah, was that guy really there somewhere? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, Scary maybe stuff. Maybe. Yeah, spice. The only time I smoked that, it was in like the dorms out of a gravity bong. Yeah. And I was already pretty drunk, so I don't really remember. I always remember having to get like a separate <laughs> bong because you don't want to <laughs> get your weed yeah. in it. <laughs> yeah, the red stockings. That's what the fucking weird guy was wearing. <laughs> he sounds kind of sexy. Yeah. <laughs> He's wearing those bad boys. Sexy elf. <laughs> Give me a smooch, Willie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. What is your top five? Thanksgiving sides. So I didn't I didn't know we were doing sides. I did a different top five. I did top five worst Thanksgiving guests. Oh my gosh. Ooh, perfect. You want to hear it start yeah. with five five to one though. All right. Oh, five to one? Yeah. All right. Number well, I I, I gave them to Grant in a specific okay. order. So okay. I'm gonna start perfect. from the top. Okay. Cool. Number one, 
Goddamn Jacob and his Technicolor dream coat. Save the theatrics, yeah. Jacob. Get the hell out of here, man. Wear something like that. <laughs> and Grant, show him what the hell's going on. This dude. Where's this? Uh, crazy I'm, I'll pull it up. Jacket. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's nuts. Yeah, who are you talking to in there? Are you talking to somebody in there? What's going on? Is it the guy from that show? What? Are, are you FaceTiming? Yeah, he's on the phone with Jonathan. Dude, yes, Jonathan about... here. Get him in here. We love him. That's who? so embarrassing. The guy from Queer Eye for Straight Guys? Oh. Or what's it called? <laughs> Jonathan yeah. Van Ness. We love him. Yeah, is he back there? Was he? Boom. Why he talk? There we go. Sorry. There is it is. Oh, that's Van a great Ness? picture. That's, <laughs> no. That's Jacob and Jacob. his Technicolor dream coat. Fucking walk into my house, coat like that? I don't think so. Get out of here. Worst guest Get out. alert. There's the door. Both my parents were in World War One. They could not afford a jacket like that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why would you come in <laughs> yeah. to my fucking place? You know, my parents were in World War One. Why it... are you coming in flexing like that? Is that what kids say now? Mm -hmm. Or are you flexing on people? It's... Which one is he? The old guy or the <laughs> other guy? <laughs> Which one's the technicolor? <laughs> so the thing about that is... I'm actually not positive, but if either of those jokers, if either of those busters walk into my house, and you know what the fucked up part is? Mm. I could make a jacket like that if you gave me a sewing booth. And a couple pieces of fabric. If you gave me a sewing booth and a couple pieces of fabric, I could make a jacket like that in under one month. I believe you. Yeah. Easily. Give me a $50 yeah. gift certificate to Joanne's Fabrics. Give yeah. me a sewing nook. And I can knock that out. Really? In like a month? I could easily do it in that a month. That seems pretty quick. Yeah, that seems really good. I could good. do it in a month. I got time. We and, well, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I wouldn't want those two weirdos come in. No. You go, we are a simple family. We have simple values. We wear simple clothes. That jacket, you are showing off. Yeah, it's bullshit. And and there's the door. And they know they know your your family. They were in World War One, and they're still trying to do that kind of shit. Yeah, they're as bitch as is again, a little yeah. bit younger. Yeah, where is he in Pakistan? <laughs> where is Jacob? There, who are those guys behind him? Is that the Green Ranger? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like the Green Ranger kind of. What was he doing? I have no idea, <laughs> but it drives me insane even thinking about it. And that is number five. Okay, There's four worst more. Worst guest, yeah. Absolute worst. Number two, Sarah Winchester and her haunted house of ghouls. God, so, I've we, been to that haunted house. You've been to the Winchester house. Yeah, it's stupid. They don't know nothing. They don't know anything. I have Who, one the question. They're like. We don't know. And I'm like, you told me she has no friends, but you know, she, no one knows anything about her. So how are you telling me these things right now? They're like, we don't know. I'm like, what is going on? Sarah's little secret. That's what they <laughs> always say. Sarah's little Love secret. Love her, though. Yeah. That house is wonderful. The house is wonderful, but it's like, okay, girl, we get it. Haunted by the <laughs> sins of your husband. Yep. Yep. For doomed to a life of the occult where you are haunted by the spirits killed by all the Winchester rifles. We and that's probably it. a ton. Get of it. Probably a, over a million. Easy. So many. Easy. And okay, you got to keep building onto your house. This is a can't great. Can't stop building. Can't stop building because you got to make more rooms for the more ghouls. Mm -hmm. We get it. You got to trick them. Got to trick them. Make a staircase that just go into a brick wall. I yeah, I've it. seen that picture. I get that. <laughs> I get yeah. that. I don't want to sit here with my family and hash it all up all over again. Yeah, because you know that's all she's talking about <laughs> yeah. when she comes over for yeah. Thanksgiving. That's, that's all she's talking about. Where does she about. begin? <laughs> yeah. That's probably what she says. Where do I begin? And we're like, we've heard this story before, bitch. Come on. Your husband is in pretty much directly involved in the deaths of who knows how many people. That's your deal, okay? Yeah, you that's your problem. That's not my problem. We're trying to have a nice Thanksgiving. Damn. No, it's it, brutal. And I wouldn't want to go do a Thanksgiving there. Wait, can no. we all go there one day? Yeah, where they is it? They sell awful lunch, San Jose, California. <laughs> like an sweet. hour. They sell awful lunches? <laughs> an hour past <laughs> an hour past San Francisco. <laughs> what do you mean? What was for lunch? <laughs> like chicken tenders, but it's like more fried than <laughs> chicken. chicken tenders. So you ate some bad chicken tenders when you were there? Uh-huh. <laughs> I ate chicken tenders at the Winchester Haunted. <laughs> but I want to do the nighttime one. That's Ooh, scary. Ooh, spooky. Mm-hmm. 
And and a girl like that, she only comes to life at night. So if dinner <laughs> is like at, at lunch, if dinner is at lunch, yeah. you're fucked. And she's like, oh, I'm so groggy. I was up so late researching goblins. And you're like, yeah. get over this stuff. God, and stop drinking. Slow down on the Bloody Marys. <laughs> yeah. Are you already getting But she, Can I tell you one thing about her? She did make a great... A uh, set of stairs. They're shorter and longer because she had arthritis, so they're easier. Oh my gosh! Well, good for her. That's r- that is Look sweet. It. That's super. She was kind of smart. You know what? But they knew nothing about her. She can come over for pecan pie. <laughs> you changed your mind. As long as it's maybe dinner, and that was a good point, Casey. Yeah. Sometimes people do the Thanksgiving for lunch. Other, I don't know. I've never got that. Yeah. Mm. Let's save it till the nighttime. We're all tired from a long night's rest. And <laughs> number three, who could forget? Johnny Harlem and the Treacherous Two. <laughs> so, <laughs> Johnny Harlem and the Treacherous Two. And then one other guy as yeah, well. Yeah, why is there four? Yeah, I was curious, is Johnny Harlem two people? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so uh, these fucking doo-wop busters, uh, let's just put it this way. doo is out and punches are in. I am, oh. I am looking to fight at least two of these guys. Um, <laughs> Which would, two? Um, middle, uh-huh. middle left. Okay, and yeah, then, he looks dumb. And then, um, and then far right. I see that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah. How did he make it into the group? I don't know. He must be the other one. So I, I think the middle one is Johnny Harlem. I want to fight him because he's kind of the leader of the pack, mm-hmm. and everyone else is just kind of following in his footsteps. I hate followers. I hate followers. I only like leaders. Mm. Yep. Uh, I want to fight him just to gain his respect. I guess. Was that one of their songs, "Leader of the Pack"? <laughs> yeah. What were their What were they known for? They did like, um, "It's a Wet Sock Afternoon." That was a classic. <laughs> that was a really good one about playing out. Who doesn't like playing outside in the summertime, yeah. wearing your socks, and it's raining? Who doesn't like? Yeah, that, that was a good one. Yeah, they did uh, "Grass Fed Motorcycle." I think was a good one. That thing went so fast. Yeah, it was like, yeah, two rocks and a and a and I am. And a corn dog. <laughs> yeah. There <laughs> yeah. they are. Those fucking <laughs> those assholes, two man. Dumbasses. They're Outta probably here. always singing all the time. Mm-hmm. I hate that's what those doo people do. <sighs> uh, it's so annoying and it's so brazen to show up to my house and be like, we're born in Brooklyn and do a ah. Yeah. Go, so no, we're having Thanksgiving <laughs> here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not My sure. parents were in World War One, dude. They don't want to f- hear about this shit. They're familiar with doo-wop. They're familiar with big band. Totally. <laughs> they know big band. We get it. We we have big bopper vinyls in the cupboard. Yeah, have you seen our cupboard filled with these vinyls? We know who y'all are, so quit bragging about it, <laughs> dumbass. Yeah, and quit saying, they keep trying to sneak their way in. They're like vampires. Like You have to invite them in. So they're like, can we get a glass of milk? <clears throat> And you go, just ask me. Yeah. Just ask me. Just say, can I come? Can I come inside? Yeah. Don't sing everything. (laughs) Let me get a glass of milk. (laughs) Glass of milk. And it's just like, why did we invite these people over here? Big regret. Get them over here. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Instant. That's a that's maybe a group of people you'd want to poison because Thanksgiving is a good time to poison somebody maybe you don't like. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I agree with that wholeheartedly. Because you could put the uh, what's it? What's a good poison for people? It's the <laughs> wiper fluid or the dryer or the oh yeah, a, a cool, what is it? Antifreeze. Antifreeze tastes like Gatorade. Used to at least before they changed. It, it looks like it would taste like Gatorade. Yum. We were watching a dumbass forensic files and the stupid woman <laughs> murdered her husband and then was like going to murder her daughter. And she got busted because during the interview, uh, she spelled the something wrong. Anti, she was calling it anti free. <laughs> she didn't put a Z on it. And then when she wrote the fake uh, suicide. guy was killed suicide note, oh. she wrote it anti free. <laughs> so they knew it was her stupid ass. I'm about to be anti free after I poison my damn aunt. Oh, <laughs> fucking okay. bye bye. Oh. <laughs> no, she's fine. <laughs> No, she's cool. Who else worst guest? Dude. <laughs> bye bye. That was number three. Coming in hot. Two more. This one's one of the most egregious guests you can have. Mm. And it's none other than Frank Abagnale Jr. 
from Catch Me If You Can. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so this fucking <laughs> Here's the thing about my family. World War One, check. Family of dentists and also pilots and also FBI agents. That's three checks in a row. <laughs> That's too many check marks yeah. for a guest coming to your house <laughs> when the checks are associated with your family as well. That's a nightmare. Yeah. That's a little bit, you're trying a little bit too hard. And you can't, here's the thing about this fucking dummy. He <laughs> show up and he go, oh, hello, I'm just an airline pilot. You go, okay, I trust this guy. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I would love to talk about planes, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. He go, let me sit, you talk about plane, maybe an hour. He get bored. He go, excuse me, I'm going to go to the bathroom. He come out and he go, so I'm a dentist. I've been a dentist. And you go, what? Since when? Yeah, what? Since when? <laughs> so you're going crazy <laughs> right now? Yeah. What, That'll really ruin calls? Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then he's probably going to look for checkbooks. He's probably yeah. going to try to steal shit from your house. Yeah. Do not leave any model airplanes out because he will peel the sticker off of it and he will put it on a check to make it look like it's from TWA Airlines. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah. And it takes a long time to put the stickers on model <laughs> airplanes. Yeah. And then it's like, he's how's he even taking all the stickers off? You put them in a warm bath, I think. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's like you walk in the room and you see all your models and then the camera just zooms in on your face and it's doing like some <laughs> weird music and you're like, what? And then you're seeing all the <laughs> stickers are everywhere else. God, could you imagine? And on Thanksgiving? Brutal. Brutal. And he's such a master of disguise, he could probably, he's liable to pretend he's the turkey. And then you go, what is for dinner now? Butterball. This, this turkey yeah. is smiling. I loved a master of disguise <laughs> when what's his name was the turtle guy. Dana Carvis. Dana Carvis. That was Dana one of his Car best works, I think. <laughs> Masters of Disguise. It was the one turtle. The, yeah. Turtle turtle. Turtly enough for the damn turtle club. <laughs> brutal. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. And who could forget the last and possibly the worst? Number one worst guest to have at Thanksgiving, uh -oh. Dr. Seymour Slime. So Dr. Ooh. Seymour <laughs> Slime is this sexy-ass fucking guy. He's not Look allowed? <laughs> no. What, he's too sexy or something? He's too hot. <laughs> that dude is. He's buff. <laughs> he Seymour is. Slime's really not allowed? <laughs> well, let's Ugh. see. Let me run Don't down get the, him started. Let me run down the stats, and okay. you can be the judge. Okay. Dr. Seymour Slime was born into a life of the occult. One of, the, one of the foremost scholars on grime and dust. And, uh, <laughs> grime and dust? Grime and dust. What a weirdo. And then nothing was ever gross enough for Dr. Slime. In the pursuit of everything stink, he made a devilish pact with an ancient gin where he decided he wanted to be made of slime and stink for eternity. So now he literally is made out of slime and stink. And that was oh, Jen. Oh, so he's stinky. Yeah, he's stinky. We don't want him over. No. But with a body like that, you can plug your nose. <laughs> and that was Jen, D-J-I-N, correct? Yeah. What is that, like an ancient like sorcerer or sorceress or something? It's like an evil genie from like Middle Eastern folklore. So like Kazam kind of. Remember how evil he was? Yeah, Kazam was like one of the worst. Uh, yeah, Shaq, and now he has Shacaroni everywhere. It's like I turn on the TV, it's like Shacaroni this, Shacaroni that. What? Shacaroni, it's everywhere now. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, it's like, what? get a life, dude. You used to play basketball, we get it. Your feet are real big, your hands are real big. <laughs> Eat something else other than shakaronis. It's not good for people. Yeah, there's no way that's good for people. And you know he's probably partying with fucking John Schnatter or whatever his name is. Shatner? Schnatter? John Sneedus, dude. John Sneedus. Oh, yeah. And he's got this fucked up Mardi Gras turkey mask. What? He wears shit like that. So he would come in on Thanksgiving dripping in slime, dripping mm -hmm. in grime like that, and then wearing a mask. And wearing a mask and a... Uh, his mouth don't work so good. When so when he talk, it just sounds like a sprinkler full of hot dog water. It sounds awful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, um, yeah. He prays to the patron saint of stink, uh, Saint Gurgle, and and that's gonna be a problem. I mean, when mm -hmm. the yeah, when the prayer is about prayer to be said, up. it's like, what is he gonna fucking? He's my family don't want to hear that. They We're don't praying hear that. to Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're praying to Jesus as we have for over a hundred years. Really? As my family has. Yeah, we're probably around a hundred. I would guess, in. We're but it's like, in. yeah, probably it's yeah, probably around a hundred years. Been praying to Jesus on Thanksgiving. 
My family let me pray on Christmas one time, and I was fucking wasted. <laughs> and I made my brother laugh. I remember my dad a little bit, but it was very inappropriate. I shouldn't have done that. I'm still looking. I still ask for forgiveness for that one. I hope that's not the thing that's going to sink me. That's what I start worrying about, that that's going to be the reason I go to hell. So that's why I ask for forgiveness. That's what you got to do, Grant. <laughs> ask your daughter for forgiveness. For feeding her so much damn turkey preservative, dude. Yeah, with all your spices in it. Oh, yeah, so here's this. Casey, so somebody sent us these... Alex the Weed Guy. Thank you, Alex. You're so sweet for sending us these Kit Kat, Kit Kat Chunkies. Whoa. Fuck. Are they popcorn flavored? Pick a Kit Kat. Any Kit Are they all or the same? Or no, different? I think maybe all popcorn different. Popcorn Kit Kat. That's Casey, yours. You want a popcorn this. One. Yes, that's You want yours. that, probably. Oh. I wonder what that even tastes like. I don't know. But we want to thank Alex. The weed guy. There's also caramel, and I don't. This is just plain. He says they're fire. Cocoa plan. Popcorn. It, and I gotta yeah, I bring can't you. It's popcorn flavor. How do they even do that? That was for you, I think. Yum. I don't know. Delicious. Yeah. Uh, yum. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> did we bring you those uh, macadamia nuts? Yes. Did, we bring you, did you they're eat very some? Good. Yeah, they're so good. Oh my god, I love those oh, fucking yeah. things. We went to World Market at some place called World Market, and uh, I did a scavenger hunt. I found the last gnome. She oh, found really? the last thing. We got a twenty dollar gift. I wasn't even trying. It like gives a hint. It's like it's by something metal, and like some like employee was like rummaging these like metal trays. I was like, "What's he doing over there?" And then <laughs> you were it, sneaky, yeah. And it was right. It was there. right there. <laughs> and then you're throwing the dude under the bus when we. I go. was like, I found it because your coworker was right next to it, rummaging around. I was like, Erica, <laughs> stop! You're gonna get this guy fired or something. Why are you telling them you found it because of their coworker? They don't know who. They fired. have a ton of them. I didn't say who. They probably went back and saw him on the cameras. <laughs> probably. Yeah, he's probably out on the streets by now. <laughs> yeah, he's not having a nice Thanksgiving. So out there hanging out with the gnome for real. <laughs> yeah, the for real gnome. Real. Yeah, for, uh. for real. Uh, so Alex, thank you so much for these Kit Kats. These look so good. Thank you, Alex. Yeah, if anybody has any wonder, wonderful candies or something, send them to the P.O. Box, please. And that's a grant at. <laughs> Dumbass, or what was it? Bitch ass. Oh, yeah, Grant. <laughs> Bitchass.gov. At bitchass.gov. Uh, all righty, well, it was fun. It was thankful. It was thankful. Have a nice Thanksgiving, even though this will be out, I guess, after Thanksgiving. But for us, Thanksgiving's in a couple of days. So there you go. So there, that's how that works. So, haha. Funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Funny how that shit is. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at ibretmypants. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.